You? Is anybody? There's Molly, folks. That means your friends the Goldbergs are here. Brought to you by Does, the new kind of soap for everything in your wash. First, let's drop in on the Dozen family. Well, there's young Daisy Dozen and her beau Donald down at the drugstore getting a soda. Donald's saying, Gosh, Dreamcake, I wish I were as smart as you. Oh, Donald, you are, aren't you? Well, gee, Daisy, you can talk on any subject, like movies, algebra, and even does. Well, Donald, when a girl's going to get married someday, she ought to know all about does. Why, it's a new soap discovery, and it does everything in the wash. Gee, I'd do everything for you, Dreamcake. Mm. You know, Ma says Does does Pa's work shirts and Dickie's overalls and towels and My Pretty Ray on school blouses, simply everything. Isn't that wonderful? You're a wonderful pigeon. Oh, thanks, Donald. Just think, someday you'll be wearing work shirts. Then you'll want a wife who knows Does gets them clean easy. I, I mean, she won't have to do any hard scrubbing. Or like Ma says, even bother with the bar soap anymore. Because Does gets the dirtiest things clean all by itself. Hey, remember, it's me, not Does, that's buying the sodas. I was only thinking of our future. Ma says every good housekeeper should know how white Does does towels and linens. No soap gets them whiter than Does. It's really famous for whiteness. Gee, it's snazzy, sipping sodas and listening to you talk. You're sweet, Donald. You know, Ma says if a girl's going to be a good wife, she ought to know how to keep her rayon dresses looking bright with does. Ma says it's safer for the pretty color she washes. Dreamcake, you look so pretty. Let's you and me and does always sip our sodas together. Oh, Donald. Oh, brother, does sure does everything. In the wash, I mean. Why, friends, compared to other leading granulated wash day soaps, does gives longer life to colors plus unsurpassed whiteness and real cleaning power for the dirtiest clothes. Try does, D-U-Z. It does everything in your wash. And now the Goldbergs. Well, Rosie's world took a dreadful spin yesterday, and her suspicions and determination to expose her double-dealing sister-in-law went sailing also. For Rosie learned soberly what her parents learned joyfully, that Sammy's wife is going to have a baby. Yes, Grace's fainting fit after her quarrel with Rosie wasn't feigned. Well, that's one side of the story. On the other hand, we know what Rosie suspects, that Grace has some suspicious connection with George, a neighboring farm worker. And what's more, when George discovered the news about Grace, he worried more than a stranger should. Meanwhile, Rosie has to act. But now, with the thought that her brother is somewhere on the high seas, that his child is going to be born in the Goldberg house, and his wife is a girl who isn't altogether the best in the world. Well, listen. Rosalie, Rosalie, listen to your Uncle David. I'm, I'm older. I mean, maybe not wiser, but, but older. With, with, with more experience, Rosalie. Go up and apologize to Grace. Congratulate her. You, you'll be a man soon, and I'll be a double uncle. Go, Rosalie. Go, dear. Rosie, look at me. You don't feel well? I I'm all right. Rosie, you want something? I'm all right. You're white like milk. Uncle David, I must have somebody to talk to. So talk to me, but not foolishness, Rosie. Not foolishness. Is it foolishness, Uncle David? Did you see the way George acted when he heard that, that Grace was sick? He wasn't putting his show on. He wasn't acting. He felt that way. My Rosie, that Rosie. wasn't just concern, Uncle David. It all fits together. I know that George knows Grace and she knows him. They both came here together and there's something going on that we don't Rosie, know. Rosie, Rosie, don't say that, Rosie. Don't, don't, don't hurt Papa and Mama. It's because I don't want Mama and Papa hurt that I'm saying uh, this. I, Rosie, there are Rosie. too many coincidences, Uncle David. All right. So, 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 so you are such an expert on coincidences, huh? Listen to Uncle David, Rosie. Don't look for coincidences and you wouldn't find them. Hello? Yes? No, nothing. No. Goodbye. Who, who was it? George. That's the third time he called Uncle David. Well, my mom did you want? He's at the drugstore with the prescription. Is everything all right? Well, he's... Uncle David... Rosie, so Rosie, I'm warning you, Rosie. Don't make a mountain out of nothing. Wrong number. Why did you say wrong number? 
Yes. Wrong number. Wrong number. Wrong number. Yeah. Wrong number. Yeah. Wrong so, Molly, when do we send the announcements? The announcements. <laughs> they want to send announcements. Oh, you didn't. don't send the announcements to the babies born. Oh, yeah. When will that be? <laughs> Dr. Kate said December. My birthday is also December. Oh, Jake, darling. Oh, David, David, you tell me. Is there anything sweeter? You're a grandfather. And I'm a grandfather twice. Uh, now, Molly, darling, my dear, we'll collect interest on our investment, eh? Oh, Jay, darling. Such interest, Hernandez. Come here, Rosalie. Come here. Papa and Mama are too happy now for any disturbances of feelings between us. Come, down. Go over. Kiss Papa. And whatsoever Rosalie did or didn't do, Jake, everything must be evaporated. Only joy and happiness must abide in mine abode. No, Jake. Rosalie must first go up to Grace. Oh, let me take it, Rosalie. Hello? Yes? Oh, yes, George. Where are you? Yeah. I, I, I don't think so. Everything is all right, George. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Oh, it's a wonderful person, that George. He wanted to know if I need something else. He's waiting for a prescription? At the drugstore, yes. Well, Rosalind, Papa's waiting. Well, Rosalind, Papa's waiting. I'll do anything you want me to do. I want you to go up to Grace and apologize for over everything you said you are sorry for. Go, Rosalind. Go, Mamie. Never be ashamed of being sorry. Who can be right all the time? Who can never make mistakes? Not a human being, Rosalie. Only an angel. All human beings make mistakes. To make mistakes is to be human. That's what the book says. But whatever can uh, we, we can do is, is to be ready to be sorry. Be ready not to be ashamed to, to admit that we was wrong and begin again. That's, that's wisdom, that's goodness. You must have pride that that's false, Mama. You don't think of what other people will think of you. Think of what is right and proper and do it. Be ashamed to be ashamed. Go, darling. Go, sweetheart. Go, angel. Be the rosy mom and papa wants you to be and knows that you are. Go up to grace. Go to your brother's wife and apologize, Mom, and you'll put... Oh. Yeah, you Masha! Mrs. Goldberg, Mrs. Goldberg, that's wonderful! <laughs> Who told you? George told me, Rosalie, because you're going beyond. Here's some fresh butter and new eggs. I, thank you, darling. I have fresh eggs. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> Thanks, Masha. <laughs> Mrs. Goldberg, yes, when is baby coming? December. My birthday, too. Хорошо. <laughs> ah, that's good. Good. New babies for new world. Maybe war will be over soon. Your boy, he will come home. Oh, Masha, what a day. What a day when the boys will come home. The sun will be bright and the stars will sing in the sky and the whole earth will become summer, even if it's winter. Oh, the years will run away from people's shoulders. It'll be a day that'll shake, that'll shake in history. Oh, Masha. They'll call it year one of the new world on the day the war ends. Victory and peace. Daibuch. Daibuch. Both together, victory and peace. Mm -hmm. Masha, David, Jake, Rosalie, can you see it? Can you imagine it when the boys come home? Yes, and when the boys will come oh, home. Oh, when the boys will come home. In my family, on other side, we no more have boys to come home. We no more have children to see new world that comes. The Germans came, and now there is no more, nothing. Everyone dead, very bad people. Is, is all right if I go upstairs? Why not, Masha? Just for a few minutes, because the doctor wants Grace to rest. I know, I know. I, I want to give her good kiss for good luck. Only a few minutes, Masha. 
doctor wants Grace to rest. Sure, sure. Come. You be all like all men. <laughs> Worry all the time. Ничего целый день не делай. Do nothing. Woman работает с утра до вечера. Woman do Come everything. Come on, Mrs. Wilbur. Please, you know my husband. Turn the phone, please. Take the phone, please. Hey, take the phone, Rosalie. Hello? Yes? No. No. Who was it, Rosalie? Wrong number. Wrong number? Again? Who was it? Molly, please! Must you holler? Don't you know that Grace shouldn't be disturbed? Right. That was the wrong number! Right. Was it no wrong number, Rosalie? What are you going to do? Hello, I, I want the drugstore, please. What, Rosalie, why are you calling? You need something? Hello. Hello, I, I, I want to speak to George. He, he's the man that works on Marsha's farm. He's waiting there for a prescription. Rosalie, why? What are yes. you doing? Rosalie, what, what are you doing? Hello, George. No, nothing is wrong, I hope. I just want you to stop calling this house. Just what I said. Don't call this house. While everyone else is crazy with happiness, Rosie is faced with a delicate moral problem and a tough diplomatic one. For she can see that George is not acting like a stranger. And we know what Rosie doesn't, that he is anything but a stranger to Grace. Look, can you say this to yourself every day? I'm doing everything I can to help win the war. Can you say that? Did some of your dollars go into war bonds today? Well, here's the way I look at it. Buying war bonds is a lot like being a soldier at the battle line. The soldier puts every extra ounce of energy he's got into the fight when the big battle comes. But he doesn't stop being a soldier after one battle's over. He keeps right on until the war is won. And it ought to be the same with you. When you get a little extra money, you put it into war bonds, sure, but you don't stop there. You keep right on buying war bonds regularly under some sort of payroll savings plan. You keep on buying them until the war is won. Now, if your family's not buying war bonds under a regular payroll savings plan, start right away. Invest in victory every day, every week, every month, and keep it up. Be sure to listen to the next episode of The Goldbergs. Rosie tries to be a good daughter, a wise sister, and a clever politician all at once. This is Clayton Collier saying, do as the dozens do. Let does, the new kind of soap, do everything in your wash.